Welcome back, friends. Today I'm going to be sharing our seventh grade homeschool curriculum. We are still using Heart of Dakota. We're going to be using Revival to Revolution, and I'll be sharing all the books that are included with this teacher guide. So first, this is the teacher guide, and this is the new one that has um, color now in it. And it is set up the same way as all the others, learning through history and learning the basics. This is all your history side, and this has language arts, math, Bible, music, and science. The poetry is still in the back of the guide, and then also the dictation passages are in the back. And these are the schedules to all the books that are included. So this is the student notebook that comes with this one. And these notebooks are really beautiful. They always have beautiful illustrations um, so they come loose like this, and they are hole-punched, so you can put them in a binder or however you would like to do it for the year. The way we do it is we just use a three-ring binder for the year because it's easy for my son to write in it and just flip to his page that he needs and at the end of the year, I buy like a nicer, um, for like a report style of binder type. I'm not sure what the name is, but I, I store it in that at the end of the year. And it looks like a really nice keepsake at the very end. So these are always done really, really nice. I love their notebooks. Next, we will look at all of the history books that are included. So here in their little catalog, it lists everything that comes with the guide. So first we have George Washington's World. So this is one of Genevieve Foster books. I think most homeschoolers are familiar with her books. So we are going to be reading this. Next is the story of Napoleon. This is a yesterday's classic. We really, every single book that we have read that's a yesterday's classic, we have enjoyed very much. Next is Hearts and Hands. So this last year, we read a couple of books in this series, and we loved them. For one, we love history here in our home. I love history. My son loves history. So um, these are Chronicles of the Church. This is Chronicles of the Awakening Church, but there's one that's the Medieval Church, and just different time periods throughout history. And so far, we have really loved this series, so we are looking forward to this one as well. Also, as part of our main history, um, we have these two CDs. These are by Jim Weiss. This is Thomas Jefferson's America and Abraham Lincoln and the Heart of America. So we are looking forward to both of these as well. These are both by the Well-Trained Mind Press. The next book that we're going to be reading is The Story of the Great Republic. I really love this cover. I just think it's really pretty. We have also read, um, I think it's 
been just one other book by this author and this company as well and we really liked it a lot so we're looking forward to this one also we're actually looking forward to every single book um especially in the history side of things so this one is the growth of the british empire another one that I am really looking forward to. I love British history and, you know, this one, American history is also intertwined with this. So I'm looking forward to this one also. This is another Yesterday's Classics. The next book is Who is God and Can I Really Know Him? So this is one of what we believe series from Apologia. Um, so they have it listed here in the history section. Um, so I've never read any of these books before, so it'll be interesting. Um, I was wondering why this was in the history section. To me, this would be like part of his Bible study. But um, there is another book included that we'll, he'll be using for Bible study. So um, I guess we'll see once we start reading it. And I'm sure there's a reason why this is in the history section. So next we have this audio CD, What in the World? This is volume three. And we have already listened to volume one and two in some of our other, um, the other grades that we've done so far. And my son has really enjoyed these as well. So next we have Draw and Write Through History. So he has also done several of these already and this is one of his favorite things to do as part of his history. I can tell you that I have seen a great improvement in his drawing skills from before he started using these books and up until now. There is a huge difference. So um, I'm really proud of him for that and he, he's really liked these. So this particular one is Napoleon to Lady Liberty, The World of the 1800s. So, this is one he's looking forward to. So the next history resource is a map trick CD. This one is, um, so these, you print out maps from this. And this one is maps of world history. We have also used other ones in this series. Um, like the one we just did last year was Maps of the Middle Ages. And this is fun. I think this really adds to the whole history experience. And it's, it's easy and fast. And it really helps the student see all the things he's learning in history, where everything was really taking place in the world. And then we have... Um, United States History Atlas. So this last year, we also used one of these as well. So this one looks like it's just of the United States. Um, the one we used last year might have been a world one because we were learning about medieval times and the Renaissance. So this, these are really nice as well. Okay. So next we have Heroes of Faith. So this is going to be his Bible study that he does. So this is Heroes of Faith, The Hidden Treasures in Hebrews. So this is an inductive Bible study. And he also did one of these last year. Last year, the focus was in the book of Philippians, and this, this one's going to be the focus in the book of Hebrews. So, um, this was really nice. He, I asked him how he liked it, if he was enjoying it, 
and he was. So there's always a section of the book of Hebrews that they read. And then it's done in layers. Like this is layer 5. And then there's numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4. And in the teacher guide, it will tell him what he needs to read and what layer and what numbers he needs to do. And last year, this went this lasted for the whole school year so I'm thinking this one will be the same so this year in our Heart of Dakota curriculum this particular guide includes classical music study so we have the story of classical music and I'm looking forward to this very much um, so even though this isn't included in every single Heart of Dakota guide, I do consider us a Charlotte Mason homeschool. So I add in composer study. We usually do it on Fridays because um, the guides that my oldest son is doing now is only, it has plans for four days of the week. So we use Friday for all the the extra enrichment like composer study so this year it's nice because um this is included already in our plans for the week and um we love classical music but my kids love it i love it we enjoy it very much so this is something we're looking forward to along with that um, there is this hands-on history activity packs composers so this also has music but it also has like um, lap books so I'm assuming you're going to be able to print out like the different pages and you're going to create a lap book from it so that will be fun it says activities designed to teach hands-on so this is part of our composer study. Next, we have 50 states under God. So to me, this is what we're going to call our geography. So this is what we're going to be using for geography. And it's nice because it's already included in the plans in the teacher guide. And I'm really excited about this because it says 50 states under God. So it is from a biblical um, viewpoint, worldview. So I always like that very much. That's one of the reasons why we love Heart of Dakota. So I had never heard of this particular one before. It does look like it's kind of like a, more of a workbook style. We're looking forward to this one. And then the last book that's listed under the history section is this one. The Signers, the 56 Stories Behind the Declaration of Independence. So this one looks really nice as well. We're also looking forward to this book. It does have illustrations, but they are in black and white. Okay, so that is all for the main history book. Next is our science books. So this is um, the science section right here, which is optional. If you want to use a different science program, you can. We always go with the Heart of Dakota Science. Since the very beginning, we have always enjoyed it, so we don't change it up. So the focus um, for science with this package 
I forgot the name. Revival to Revolution is Inventors. Inventors and Physical Science. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. Okay, the first book is The Story of Inventions. I know my son's going to enjoy science very much this year. Um, well, he actually enjoys science all the time. It's one of his favorite subjects, but inventions and things like that. He really likes that. So, The second book is Michael Faraday. I'm not sure how to say his last name, but he is the father of electronics. Next is Four Amer American Inventors, and this is a yesterday's classic, so I'm sure he's going to love this one. There are a few black and white pictures in this one. Then we have Henry Ford, Young Man with Ideas. Always Inventing, a photobiography of Alexander Graham Bell. This one has actual photographs. They Gave Us Wings, The Wright Brothers. Okay, so included in the science is another notebook. So this is going to be his science notebook, inventor student notebook. I didn't open this beforehand. So this last school year, um, he had his regular history notebook, and then he had one for his Shakespeare studies. So this year, instead of Shakespeare, is the Inventor Student Notebook. It is also three hole punched except for the cover. But this looks very nice as well, just like the history one. These make really nice keepsakes at the very end. And then the last thing under science is, um, I've had never heard of this before. It's from Explore, Exploration Education, Standard Physical Science. And this is the student logbook. And they had two levels of it. One was like, um, I think probably standard. And then the second one was advanced. Well, at least it was a little more advanced. And so I just went with the standard version of it. And then with the logbook, you also get this kit, Exploration Education. So it's the same thing. It says the same thing. Um, let's see. Electricity, forces, magnetism, machines, chemistry, motion, sound, energy, and light. So I think my son is going to absolutely love this. This was a little pricey. Um, and it was optional, but I just know my son and I know that this might be his favorite thing of the year. 
So I went ahead and purchased it. And I'm going to make sure that we get this done. You know, like, no skipping it or anything because I, I know that he's just going to love it. I'm going to go ahead and open this just to show you. So this is the teacher's manual and it looks like some of it you have to, it says online access for the interactive student texts. So, looks like this is an update for the logbook page. So yes, we are definitely going to make this a priority because I want to make sure that he gets to do every single thing. This looks like a lot of fun, even just me looking at it right now. There is a lot of stuff in here. This says rocket, so I'm sure he's going to love that electric circuit balance scale oh look at this another student logbook I did not know this was included well, now I have two. I will save one for when my younger son is ready to do this, and then he'll have it. I should have read it more carefully. Okay, so let's see. This one says motor, uno guitar, solar fan, Electric racer. And I'm not sure what this one is. This one doesn't really say. It says experiment supplies. So yes, that looks like a lot of fun. Okay, so next we have language art. So we have writing and English. The one that they recommend here, um, so they change it up every year. You don't use the same company for writing, um, and there's a reason for that. Um, I don't remember exactly, but something like they want the children to see different styles of writing, different ways, and then see what works best for them. So this is the one that they recommend that's included with the package, um, but this is optional. You don't have to purchase this. If you have your own writing curriculum that you love, you can just use that. This one is the exciting world of creative writing, and this was very inexpensive. Um, I think it was like $11, if I remember correctly. So I decided to get it just to look it over and see if this is something that, that we want to use. Or maybe myself, I do love to read and I would like to be a better writer. So I thought, well, maybe I could do the, um, use this myself if my son ends up not using it. We ha what we have been using for writing is writing and rhetoric. We have used different things over the years. And out of all the different ones that we've tried, this is definitely a favorite. Um, we don't follow their schedule. 
in the beginning it tells you um, like a typical teaching week day one day two day three and four so it kind of tells you what you should do every day but we we just kind of take our time and go through this um, what we do every time writing is scheduled in the heart of Dakota guide then we just pull this out and work from it so it does take us longer to go through the whole book um, I believe if you follow the schedule they give you you will do two books in one school year we have been doing one book per school year but that has worked out fine my son really likes this curriculum he enjoys it and I think to the way we've been using it has worked out and I definitely do not feel like he's behind in any way at all so so I have both of these and then we'll see what we end up doing um for writing for him but it will be probably one of these two so for English Heart of Dakota always recommends Rod and Staff and we did try Rod and Staff in the beginning and we really liked it a lot um, but as time went on it got harder and harder to me it is pretty advanced and my son was starting to get a little overwhelmed um, it is a great curriculum so I do recommend it I think it would work for lots of families um, for our family I decided to find something that was more more Charlotte Mason um, a little bit more gentler I guess and so I we ended up using language lessons for today um, this particular one is from my father's world but there are other versions of this of the language lessons for today this is what we've done in for several years um, we have also tried other other curriculum for example, the one from Simply Charlotte Mason, we tried that, I think, for a couple years, and that was good. There wasn't anything wrong with it. Um, I think both of us preferred this one better, and I know we've tried other things as well. I think one year we did English through the McGuffey Readers. And I had a notebook to go along with it so he, he could do like English lessons and he had some writing to do with the notebook. Um, we used the notebook from Mom Delights. She has a YouTube video or a YouTube channel and um, some of her stuff is for free, some you could buy. So I just printed one of the free ones from her website. And we used that with the McGuffies, and that actually worked very well. We enjoyed it. Um, so, he he's already done some of this. This is grade 6. He did not finish this, this last school year. So, what we're going to do, my plan is for him to finish this, um, this next coming school year. And then, I don't believe this goes higher than grade 6. I think this is the last one. So, I guess I need to figure out what he's going to do next after, after this book. I might look at my father's world and see what they recommend after this and go with that. That's kind of what I have thought so far. Okay, and then next we have math. So, Heart of Dakota recommends Singapore math since the very beginning, and I've heard great things about it. We have never used it. Um, math has never been a subject that I've been really good at, and unfortunately my son is kind of the same way. 
So I've always been intimidated by Singapore math because I feel like one day I'm not going to be able to help him with that, but I've heard great things about it. Math has been the one subject that we have tried so many different math curriculums, trying to find the right one. And right now, so he has been using teaching textbooks for the last few years, and that has worked the very best for my son. And so I don't really have plans to change it up, but in this Revival to Revolution, they do give you another option. So you have Singapore, and then you have Principles of Mathematics, which is by Master Books. And I actually own these two books, so I'm going to show them to you. And the reason I have these is because Master Books was having, um, I think it was one of their flash sales, and they had both of these on there, and they were at a very good price. It was very cheap. I can't remember exactly what it was. So I, the, I have been curious about these only because the biblical worldview, um, that kind of has caught my eye and it made me interested in them and I was debating should we try this or should we just continue teaching textbooks I am not a hundred percent sure what we're gonna do but I'm kind of leaning on staying with teaching textbooks because it has worked so well for him but I also was curious about these and since I got them from a flash sale, I decided to just get them, look them over, and I don't know. I don't know if we can somehow incorporate this a little bit for him, but he might not want to. <laughs> so we'll have to see. So that is book one and book two, and both of these do have a teacher book, a teacher guide. I do not have the teacher guides. So this is for junior high. So this is year two and then year one for junior high. So that is one of your options for math with Heart of Dakota. So next we have Let's see, it's the basic package with 14 history read-alouds. So these are read-alouds that are um, connect, it says, with the history theme in Revival to Revolution. The basic package is highly recommended unless you need to economize. And then they're always listed here. We have been buying these every year, and I do read them aloud, um, and we have always enjoyed all the books. So. so there's 14 of them in the package. First is Amos Fortune, Free Man, and I've never read this, but I've heard a lot of good things about this book. I'm excited to read it. Next, next is Songbird. Never heard of this one before. But I think I will enjoy this just by, by looking at the cover. I think this is my kind of book. Well, it's a history book, so it's fine. <laughs> the Mozart Girl. What if Mozart's sister had her moment in the spotlight?
The Pirate Patriot. I saw this one I was like, oh, I can't wait to read this. An American Rebel in England. The Reb and the Redcoats. Marie's Home. Seaman, the dog who explored the West with Lewis and Clark. Only the names remain. The Voyage of Patience Goodspeed. This one looks interesting also. Next we have Florence Nightingale. This is a yesterday's classic and I'm also excited about this one. I've always wanted to know her story, like I know who she is, but I've never read like her life story. Gabriel's Horses. Those look like real photographs. Shipwrecked, The True Adventures of a Japanese Boy, this is a biography of Amy Carmichael with daring faith. So this one is probably really good as well. And then the last one is George Washington Carver. So looking forward to reading this one also. So that is everything. That is all you need for the whole year. Um, you know, the history, the science, the Bible study, writing, English, math, the read alouds. Um, but they do have an extension package. And this is if you have several children close in age and you don't want to use separate guides with each one you want to use one guide and um if you have like older kids they have the extension package where they have another set of books that are more um, a little more advanced for an older student but yet you can use the same teacher guide to teach all of your kids um so I don't have, you know, my oldest is the one doing Revival to Revolution, so we do not need the extension package, but because we love books so much in our home and then history, 
I always look at all the books that are listed here and I just, I always want to have them all. So I did purchase them, I usually do every year, and I will go ahead and show you what those books are in case you are interested. Okay, so first there is Calico Captive. Poor Richard. So I've heard a lot of good things about this one. Um, we might read it even though it's at, from the extension package. Maybe this summer or on Fridays or I think we have to make time to definitely read this one. Give me liberty. This one to me looks really interesting as well. I love the cover. I read the back and it just sounds really good. I actually read this very first page here. Like before you even get to chapter one and I was already like wow this sounds really good. So my son is going to read this one also and I'll explain how in a little bit. But the next one is Sea Captain from Salem. In Search of Honor. I mean, all of these books look really good. I wish we had the time to read them all. Also included in the extension package is um, this audio drama um, Victor Hugo's, I don't know how to say it correctly, Les Miserables, I'm not sure, but everyone knows the story, but yeah, so, um, the audio drama, so this is something I'm interested in myself. Kit Carson and the Wild Frontier, this is a Ralph Moody book, so I'm sure this one's really good too. All set sail. Lincoln, a photobiography. This one looks really good as well. It has lots of pictures. Grant at Appomattox. Okay, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. <laughs> African explorer David Livingston. We have read many books by this author and loved them all. So again, another most likely really good book. The Courage and Character of Theodore Roosevelt, A Hero Among Leaders. And then last, there is a DVD set. There's five DVDs inside. The American Testimony. United States history from 1492 to 1877. So I want to find the time to also watch this together, perhaps during the summer, I'm not sure. Um, but I would love to watch this myself with my kids. So that is everything that is included in the extension package. So I know this video, all my videos are usually very long because there are so many books, but there is one more section I want to show you. 
so for his um, reading that he does on his own every day, um, because there is, in the teacher guide, they do have scheduled reading time on their own. So we have used Drawn into the Heart of Reading for that for ever since he was able to read the books by himself. Um, the books are always good. They have different levels. And um, so you have the student book. And then there was one main like teacher guide. But that one guide you can use with all of the levels. So you only buy that one. Then they have these here three books. Um, they are projects. So they're filled with projects the kids could do that go along with the books that they are reading. So that is optional if you want to do that. And then they have all the different packages. Um, level 2, level 3, 4, 5. Um, all the way to level 7, 8. And then they have a boy pack. Um, and girl interest pack. Um, sometimes there's like boy, girl, and classical, something like that. So I will show you the ones my son's going to be reading this coming school year. So he's going to be doing level 5, 6 boy interest pack. So this is the student book. This is level 4, 5. Um, it just depends, you know, this is a good fit for my son, so that's why I picked that one. So, there's different sections. Biography, adventure, historical fiction, fantasy, mystery, folk tales, nonfiction, humor, realistic fiction. So, for every section, it tells you how to introduce that genre. It's like this one's adventure. There's always um, a godly character trait emphasis. For adventure is fear of the Lord, the story element emphasis, problem or conflict, and then it just tells you what adventure is and the characteristics that are common in adventure books. And then you have your reading calendar. So you, as the parent, fill this out you either could do so there's three weeks three books at a pace of five reading days each or one book at a pace of five reading days and one book at a pace of 10 reading days or one book at a pace of 15 reading days so depending on the book you write down the book they're reading and then you assign the pages for them to read each day and then they just follow the schedule and for example, so day one, all they do is read. Then for day two, I don't know if you can see, day two, they have to read and then do this page here. And this is the page for day three. So they do their reading and then do page three. Day four, godly character. And they're always different. They're not like the exact same for every every section. They're always different. So that is that. I did purchase the book projects to send home and we have done projects through the years. We haven't done it for every single book every time, but the ones that my son has done he has enjoyed and he does like them he does like doing crafts and things like that so I think that's why it's fun for him okay so now these are the books that are included in this is just for boys interest package um, there is one or girls but I do not have those so first is the little Duke 
And this is yesterday's classic. So these are the books he's going to be reading on his own. Cabin on Trouble Creek. Song of the Trumpet. Iron Scouts of the Confederacy. This one's by Christian Liberty Press. We have always enjoyed the books from them. The Invisible Friend. So this is book three from the Viking Quest and he has read book one and book two and he has loved them. So this is one he's very excited and looking forward to. We are going to I don't know how many more are scheduled in the Heart of Dakota Guides, but we have to make sure we buy the whole series because these are some of his favorite ones. Sir Malcolm and the Missing Prince. This is a lamplighter book, and I got very excited when I saw that because I have always been interested in lamplighter books, but we, we didn't own any, so this is our very first one. And I'm very excited for him to read this because I just, I have heard nothing but great things about these books. And they look really, really nice. Like, very good collector quality. The Riders of the Pony Express. So this is included in his package. But uh, we actually read this book already. Um... I think it was for fifth grade when we did a study of the history of California. And this was one of the books included from Beautiful Feet, Ralph Moody book. Um, this was definitely our favorite book from, from that school year that we did. It is a great book. I highly recommend it. Um, just knowing that everything w really happened and the stories are real, it just kind of blows your mind. But, so I gave him the option, I said, do you want to read this again on your own? Um, or do you prefer to read a book you have not read yet? He chose to read a book he hasn't read yet. So here is when we're going to switch that one out for the Give Me Liberty this was one of the ones from the extension packet. I had him look at all the books from the extension packet and he chose to read this one. So I think he will really enjoy it. So we're going to um, substitute this book for the other one. And then we have the story of Dr. Doolittle. Paddington at large. We are big fans of Paddington in our family, so I'm sure he'll love this one. And the last one is Black Gold. This is one of um, the Marguerite Henry books. We have read other books by her as well. Okay, and that is it for, for the boys' interest pack. I know it, there's a lot of books, but, um, you know, in Charlotte Mason education, you don't really use textbooks, so you do living books, and then you need living books for history, for science, for read-alouds, for independent reading, um, you know, for all the different subjects, and for the whole year, it really does add up to a lot of books. But um, that is one of the things we love about Heart of Dakota, is all of their books. And every year it is great. And every following year, we always look ahead and, oh, we can't wait to do that. It looks so exciting and interesting. So, so that is what he's going to be doing for seventh grade next year. Um, like I said, his guide is only scheduled for four days so he does it monday through thursday and then friday 
we um, add in other things we want to do, like art, um, poetry, more poetry, because Heart of Dakota does have poetry. Um, you know, we might do composer studies or artist studies. We do the, Char the Simply Charlotte Mason artist portfolios. So all those extras we do on Fridays. So I will probably make another video showing what we're going to be doing on Fridays as well. But that is all for the Heart of the Dakota section, which is the... For the Revival to Revolution. And we are very excited for next year as always. And yes, hopefully this was helpful and um, to just look at everything that's included. And if anyone has any questions, you can always ask me in the comments below and I will try to answer them all. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.